Hi everyone, it's Donna with Embroidery.com. How is everyone's Thursday night going? I hope you all are having a fabulous Thursday. Um, <clears throat> a little bit ago, I was upstairs cooking dinner and I asked Alexa what time it was. And, you know, she told me the time. And then she goes, I hope you have a great Thursday. <laughs> and I was like, wait, that's my line. <laughs> so. I thought it was funny. Little things make me laugh. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Doss. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> hey, Maria. Hey, Dorothy. I'm glad y'all could join me. Um, so you guys have been posting like crazy. I love it. I love it. It makes me so happy. One thing I did want to talk about was um if okay so if you can't stitch the 24 days like you miss a day or you forget to post or whatever i still want you to, to keep stitching you know i i don't want you to just give up because you're not gonna get the merit keep stitching just you know you missed a couple more days than the challenge allows, but keep stitchy. Do you know what I mean? Hey, Brittany. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Julie. I need y'all today. <laughs> Yay. We're all here. We're all here. So anyway, that that's just my little two cents. Even if you're not gonna, you know, stitch the 25 out of the 30 days, keep stitching. Oh, yeah, Carrie, your poor little baby. Her cute little dog died. It's like, a, it, yeah, it's so weird not having any animals in my house. I mean, I went from having four cats and a lab retriever mix to now no, nobody, nothing. It's so weird. Hey, Mary Jo. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Monica. Yeah, the challenge is the motivator. You're the one that has to keep going. So even if you're not going to meet the merit or, you know, achieve the merit for the 25 out of the 30 days, that doesn't mean you have to stop stitching for the month. Um, set a new goal for yourself. You know, oh, I'm going to stitch 20 days or whatever, you know. Just don't stop stitching. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so I had a question um, on, let's see, where is it? Um, I had a question on um, spring tension hoops and I have a blog on it on how to use a spring tension hoop, but I don't have a video on it. And it, I mean, anyway, so I thought I'd just kind of demonstrate it really fast. And then I thought, you know, I'll do a refresher on the key stamp. Um, I don't, I mean, I have a scroll frame, but I won't do a refresher on it because that's way more in depth. But anyway, I thought I'd do a thing on the spring tension hoop. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Karen. Okay. So, spring tension hoop. Um, if you're going to use a hoop, this is my favorite. Um, reason being, I should have grabbed another a wooden hoop. Anyway, so the reason I like spring tension versus um, the wooden hoops or even the plastic ones that you push down is because you push down. So, when you take your fabric and you push down on it, you're gonna warp your stitches, you're gonna warp the fabric. With the spring tension hoop, the spring fits inside the outer ring and it puts even pressure throughout the whole thing, you know? So once you put your fabric, so you put your fabric over, let's see, you put your fabric over the outer ring, Take your spring tension hoop, put it inside there. I'm going to have to put it down on the ground and then let go 
and it's in there. Now, depending on how stiff your fabric is, you may have to push it in. Um, I was so mad at Facebook last night. My picture wouldn't post until this morning. We take it into consideration. We know. So anyway, you may have to push it in a little bit, depending on how stiff your fabric is. Um, especially if you're doing Ada and her stuff, because that loves to be super stiff. But that's the reason I like the spring tension, is because it's e it's putting even pressure all the way around. You're not pushing on it. You're not pulling on it. You're not warping your threads. You're not warping the fabric. Nothing like that. Um, the spring tension hoops come in three different sizes. Three and a half. This is a five. And then seven. The five is my favorite. I mean, I have pretty average size hands. I, I mean, I guess they're small. But I like this size because it's easy to hold in my hand. Um, it's not too big. Um, the surface area is pretty, I mean, it's not super large, but it's not small. So it's enough for me that I'm okay moving it around wherever I need to. Um, now you can hold these either way. So you can hold it and stitch with this being your top or you can hold it and have this be your top. Either way. The one thing I do recommend is whichever way you want to hold it or whichever place you want on top is to have your non-dominant hand, whether that be your right or your left, whatever. So I'm right-handed, so my left hand, um, to hold the tongs. Um, when you, your thread will get caught up no matter what. <laughs> so if you hold the tongs, so I do, I stitch mine with the tongs down. So I will hold it like this. So my hand is around the tongs. So as I'm sewing my thread, very, I mean, I don't know how it could get wrapped around the tongs. That way it's, you know, it won't, it won't get there. Um, if you don't, it will wrap around the tongs every single time. Every time. It's insane. Um, okay, what were my other suggestions? As with any hoop, undo it when you're done stitching. Um, this will help with hoop burn. What is hoop burn? This is hoop burn. Um, with hoops, you have to probably wash your uh, stitching when it's when you're done and iron it and that's how you will get the hoop burn out um, is by the washing and the ironing of it so when you're done stitching for the night or the hour or the moment whatever take your hoop off this will help with hoop burn if your metal ring you feel like it becomes loose and it's not holding as tight simply pull it apart, pull it apart like that. And then you can, um, re put it in and that will help. I have to do it on the ground. I can't do it in the air. That will help with, um, it becoming tighter in the thing itself. Again, depending on how, what your fabric type is, you may have to push the outer ring, the inner ring into the outer ring. So that is everything on um, spring tension hoops. I like uh, spring tension hoops for small projects. Um, uh, they are very nice if you're doing a sewing method. I mean, they're fine for stick and stab as well, but I do really like these for the sewing method, um, which is, you know, like this, stick and stab is this. Stick and stab sewing method. Um, is there anything else I haven't talked about? Like I said, I have a blog, so I'm trying to look on here. So you can hold it either this with this being the front or with this being the front. It truly, truly doesn't matter. I just always make sure that I'm holding the tongs either way, whichever way you are doing it. You hold the tongs. Um, most of the time, I will scrunch up my fabric. So obviously, if I'm doing that, I would move 
the tongs and then hold it like this. Um, and then sew and do that. Um, so that's that on the spring tension hoop. If you have any questions, write them down so I can answer them. Okay, so then I thought I'd do a refresher on the Q-Snap. The Q-Snap um, comes in a bunch of different sizes. Um, there's like, I think this is the eight inch square. There's a six inch square. There's all kinds of different elbows you can get. You can truly, truly make any size frame you want by um, using a Q-Snap. Um, Literally, you could get any size you need. You can custom, you can custom do it. Let me, there's even a floor stand that's a Q-snap, um, which is really quite cool. Let me show you. So, I mean, there's, there's replacement clamps you can get. There's, that's part of the floor stand. Um, I mean, look, there's just all, I mean, this is the six inch, this is the eight inch. There's all kinds of things you can get. You can get um, 11 by 17. I mean, tons and tons of different options for the Q-Snap. Here's the floor stand. I mean, just amazing options available. How to use a Q-Snap is you take your fabric. I just pulled this out of my stash. You take your clamp, you place it on the um, PVC of the Q-snap. The fabric's all wrinkled. That's okay because I'm doing it behind me. Once you got all four sides on, you simply rotate out. And that's how you get your tension. I did, I made this side all wrinkly. So once you take it off, so you place it on like that. If you want to take it off, you just slide it off. So I fix that side and then you just twist it out. So let's say you want more tension. Again, you'll just slide it off, place it on, and then just twist it out. So now these clamps can become loose because you're using them. I've seen people where they'll put another piece of fabric in here so it will hold better. I have also been told that if you boil these, they will shrink back to their original size and you don't have to buy replacement clamps. I have never tried that personally. I've never tried it. It sounds brilliant. It sounds like it would work. Um, for me, the key snaps are a little bit bulky but they're customizable. You can make any shape you need. Um, my daughter will stitch with a, a spring tension hoop. And if she needs to bead, she'll get, she'll come up with whatever size her finished piece is in a um, Q-snap and she'll have the whole thing on a Q-snap and she'll bead it that way. That way she's not, you know, um, spring tensioning any place where she needs beads because that would be bad. Um, so they're really both great options. Like I said, the Q-Snap is a little bit bulky. You know, it's it's bigger, it's definitely bigger, but you have tons of options, tons and tons of options. Um, the floor stand, I have, I've never seen it in person, but I've heard it's amazing if you're doing any kind of quilting because of the clamps and everything. So if you're doing like a lap quilt or a baby quilt or something like that, I've heard it's really, really great for that. Um, again, it's it's a matter of what works for you. I'm not saying a spring tension hoop is, good, is better or worse than anything, nor the Q-snap, nor a scroll frame. As we all know, the scroll frame is my favorite. Um, but again, that's just me. So, um, for the scroll frame, you know, there's tons of videos that I've done on how to use them. So I won't necessarily go over that, um, because I'd have to go over, I don't have any other knobs. Pretend there are knobs. Oh, they're over here. There's the new knob that we have. This new knob. 
which I like because it's metal. And then there's, where's the other new knob that I like? I just thought, oh, this one. I think this one's my favorite new knob. This is the brown one, I think. Yeah, I think this one's my favorite. I like how long it is. Anyway, I won't go over this because there's a lot. There's a lot to do with this. But anyway, you've got plenty of options when it comes to hooping. Um, then, I mean, of course, there's also in hand, which blows my mind. I don't even, I can't even, I can't even understand the concept of in hand. It blows my mind. It truly, truly does. Oh, look. See, here's the one I was talking about that I, I don't like. So you've got the screw that you have to open. Then you've got your outer hoop and your inner hoop. Your inner hoop has this lip. You can't see it, but there's this lip to it. You place your fabric in it and then you push down on it. And then you have to screw the, the knob back up, screw the screw back up. And this is the only place you get your tension. Um, so you could have lesser tension over here or over here. Once you've got it in there, you have to pull all your fabric to get it even. I just, I like the spring tension better than these. Now the wooden ones are fun for framing. I think the wooden ones are super fun for framing um, because it gives it that, you know, old, not old, 70s, 80s look to framing, you know? <laughs> I guess that's old. <laughs> I guess that's old. Okay. What else? What else was I going to talk about? Vintage. <gasps> yes. Vintage framing. Yes. So cute little wooden hoop vintage framing. Yeah, I like that way better than old. That's that's good. You got butterfly buttons for your project. What do I use to attach? Depending on where what the button is and what color it is, I would use I think I have a button in here. Okay. I don't. I have a treasure. So, for this treasure, I would just use white thread. So use whatever um, the closest color you can to the color of, so you got a butterfly. So whether it's yellow or purple or whatever, try and find that same color in floss and use it that to attach it. Rustic, rustic, rustic works. You're dating us with those hoops. I know, right? I know I am. Hey, Julie. Yeah, so do I have any? Oh, I have some buttons here. Oh, no, I don't. Um, so just use whatever color the button is. Um, that's what I would do, is whatever color the button is. If there's multiples and you don't want to, like, change, then use a neutral, like, beige or something is what I would recommend. Hello, Becky. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, did I have any other questions this week? I don't recall. I don't think so. Does anybody have any questions? Thanks for asking about the buttons. Kathy, that was great. I hope we, um, the person that asked about the uh, spring tension hoop, I don't recall her name, but I hope that um, I answered her question. I tried to write, I, I typed a response, but for me, it's so much easier to talk and do a video than it is typing up directions. I don't know, it's a thing. 
I feel like I get my point across better talking than I do writing it up. I got the light blue monarch. Okay, let's go look at it. Light blue monarch. Not, okay, let me try it again. Let me go out here. I know which one you're talking about, but um, it's only bringing up the regular monarch. That's weird. Oh, let's just type butterfly. Oh, fun. You're having your granddaughter with her embroidery. Oh, that's cute. Oh, there it is right there. Um, so this one, so I would get, yeah. Oh, you could get a gray. A gray would be cool. Cause then it'd look like another vein. Um, but I'd probably get a blue, just a blue of some color of a color close to that. Um, you can either check your color card and see what color would work. Um, or just go through your stats and find a um, find a color that that matches it. That's what I would do. Yeah, there's all kinds of butterflies. They're fun. They're fun, fun, fun. Okay, so let's go and see what y'all have been up to because y'all have been awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, let's refresh, because I know that there were a bunch that were just posted. I was getting announcements. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, I love those colors. I don't think I've seen this one. Love Story Wedding by Ursula Michaels. I don't think that I've seen this one before. I'm going to have to look it up, because that's just pretty. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, and it's a finish. Yay! That's adorable. That's so cute. You got a lot of stitching in lately since school's out? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Oh, how cute is that? Is that a, Mer it is a Meridian design. That's so cute. Oh, and it's a finish. Meridian design has this whole collection of bikinis. They are so cute. There's like every holiday. There's a hula one, there's a police officer, there's a mermaid one, the 4th of July one's really cute. I mean, there's tons of them. All these different um, bikinis that are just so cute. So, so cute. And look at your cute little love to shit, she no minder. How awesome is that? Oh my gosh, wow. Heaven and earth, a Christ crucified. 1,029 stitches today. At the end of the day, 46.85% done. Obviously, she's using Pattern Keeper. That's amazing. That's amazing. On big pieces like this, I mean, this kind of info is, is completely your motivation because there's a lot of times you're not going to see, you're going to see a square or two or three. And you'll be like, I didn't do anything. And you're, and then you check this and you'll be like, I did a thousand stitches. That is like a lot. Or I did 5% or I did 0.5% or 0.05%, you know, that's your motivation. I would love to see my work in progress too. I've got lots of them. I've got a lot. I'll post them. I'll go through and I'll take pictures of all my works in progress. I'll do it. I'll do it after we get done. Cause I have so many. My granddaughter yesterday brought me one. I have this box of crap that I need to bring down to my room, but it's in the living room. And I had went through and I grabbed all of um, my scroll rods out of it and all of my stitching stuff. And um, last year for the witchy stitchy, I was doing a little Minnie Mouse for her. And I had taken it off the scroll frame and it was on the floor and she brings it to me and she's like, what is this? 
she knew exactly what it was because I've got the dress done. I've got one of Minnie's hands done. She knew what it was. She's like, yeah, yeah. What is this? And I was like, oh, it's a Minnie Mouse I was doing for you. And she's like, oh, I would like that. <laughs> Daily. They do help, don't they? The pictures help so much because then you can actually see what you've accomplished. Yes, I totally agree. A Merry Christmas. That's cute. Who is it by? Pineberry Lane. Bring home the tree. Oh, that's a cute one. That's a cute one. Oh, I love this. Co uh, Country Cottage Needlework, Santa Village, number three post office. My goal is to be finished with this chart on Sunday. That's a dang good goal. I love it. I love um, Country Cottage's stuff. They're just, it's just so cute. <gasps> Ooh, look at the beautiful Hardinger. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She's even got some cutting done. <gasps> I love it. I love it, love it. Oh, how cute is that little shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. It's a cute little dimensions kit. Oh, they call it poop. My granddaughter loves the poop emoji. <laughs> That's cute. Oh my gosh. Day 10. Um, some days 30 minutes flies by. And some days nobody will leave you alone. It's so true. Where is she? Maybe down. Oh, right here. Whoa, that's, oh, you're so close to being done. Oh, dude, so close to being done. I love that. Oh, how cute is that? Oh my gosh. So right here, right there. Oh my gosh, I love that. That is beautiful. That's beautiful. Starry night. I'm assuming it's a heaven and earth. Oh, that's going to be fabulous. That's going to be fabulous. Oh, I can't wait to see it. That's going to be amazing. Oh, dude. Holy crap. You guys look at that. Oh my gosh. That's got to be way more than a half hour. Once upon a time, but it's a heaven and earth. And she's got to be here, right? Doesn't say what page she's on, but holy crap. Having wine. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. You should all, well, I don't know if wine and stitching work, but I say wine and stitching. Why not? Hey, look at your Michael Jackson, the master at work using pattern maker. Oh, uh, spent time frogging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glove substituting Blanc. Oh, fun. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so cool. You're so close to being done. I think that is a huge motivator for me too. Like once the pattern starts coming alive and stuff and it, it, it has its own personality and yes, patterns have an own personality. They do. I am, I am here to tell you they do. Um, that it's just such a motivator. You're just like, look how close I am. Look how close I am. And you, it just motivates you to want to finish. Um, it works. Not a lot. <laughs> What do we think this is? Heaven and Earth starfish on a sandy beach. So this is the sea. Oh, that's very cool. Actually, you can kind of tell it's the sea, can't you? You can see like the light coming through. I love that. Dude, she's parking. She's doing a parking queen. How cute is this? What is it? It doesn't say. What does it say? Boots. I can't tell what it says. Can you guys tell what it says? I can't tell what it says. That might say grind. Maybe this is one of those watermill things. What are they called? 
I don't know what they're called, but she's made some great progress because look, she got all this done. Oh, look at the bumblebee. Oh, that's coming along so good. Look at you got some more yellow in your bumblebee. It is a bumblebee, right? Not a baby or a wasp or a murder hornet. <laughs> I was, um, we have a, a, a playhouse out back for my grandbabies. And my granddaughter came in and said there was a, a bee's nest. And I was like, okay, I'll have my son take care of it. I was like, you need to go take care of that. We don't need any murder hornets. And he's like, there's no such thing as murder hornets. I was like, there is. <laughs> Were you paying attention in 2020? We had murder hornets. <laughs> hey, this is an amazing start. 1.94%. That is an amazing start. Right there. Cute little fat person. I'm assuming it's a fat person because that's like the, there's a, a bunch of fat people ones. And um, they're all kind of like this. So I'm assuming it's a fat person. Um, which I love. And she's drinking wine in the tub and eating grapes. And she has a cat, I'm assuming. <laughs> Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Heaven and Earth, Same Day Blooms um, by Maria Brooms. Um, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Where is she? right here and some down here. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. What is this? The Virtuous Woman designed by Deborah Lambin for Jan Lim. Adventurous Woman, Proverbs. She works with her hands in delight. She is not afraid to sew, for all her household is clothed in scarlet. Huh. That'll be interesting to see the progress on it. I can't wait to see, like, what it's supposed to look like. Look more in your little army, man. Heroes. I love that. I don't think we had the heroes last week. So that's all new, I think. I think last time we only had the soldier men. So that's looking amazing. I love the hand-dyed floss there too. Oh, look how cute. And it's a finish. Oh, so cute. Be joyful. Oh, so, so cute. I love it. Oh, I love it. Bless this house by Lottie Da. Stitched on 28 count Twilight Miss Jobelin. Very cute. Let's see. Okay, we've got the blue and the flower. We've got some of the leaves and everything. I love it. Bless this house with flowers. Hey, look at our fun, fun cats. We have a new cat. I don't think we had a new cat. I don't think this cat we had last time I saw it. We have a new cat. Yay. I love these colors. They're just happy. They're just a happy colors. Just, they just make me happy. Look how cute that little alligator is and a hippo. Look how cute that is. I love the little hedgehog needle minder too. That's adorable. She got happy mail. She got a needle minder and knobs and a envelope. And what else did you get? What's this? Other, other, they're just the regular kind of scroll rods, uh, knobs. Fabulous. Oh my gosh, look at the cute little love bunny. How adorable is that? Who is this by? I can't tell. Bothy Threads. I bet you it's Bothy Threads. I mean, all I can see is T-H-Y, but I bet it's Bothy Threads. That is super cute. Where So she's done the whole heart. And the bunny knows. That's adorable. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. You are do going so fast on this. Every week, I am just utterly amazed by the amount of progress you are making on her because it is just, 
phenomenal. I just, wow, 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 is all I can say. It's all I can say. Same with the Michael Jackson. I love it. I mean, look, I mean, we already saw him later and this was all done. We have like the microphone and his hand. How cute is this? Is this done? Is this a finish? Summer Stitchy and Jim Shore Kitty by Mill Hill. I don't know if it's done. I want to think it's done. I bet no. Look, see, there's stuff missing right there. And in the scarf. So it's not done. So I won't ring the bell just yet. It is body threads. That's so cute. I love this little kitty. That's adorable. Oh, look at the cute little pillowcase. That's coming along so good. I think last time all we had was like over here. So we've got the whole lighthouse and the sand and the clouds. That's a ton since last time I saw it. That's amazing. What is this? Rain came in, cold things down a bit. Still no AC, but cooler temps ahead. Oh my gosh. Orchids from Threadbare. So, the, oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay, okay, okay. Once you, you, once you knew, I mean, it looked like a flower, but once you knew it was an orchid, you can see the sheep. So, dude, that's a lot of progress. Look at that. This is one day's worth. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, how cute is this? Flea Market Flowers by Lori Holt. How cute is that? That's adorable. I'm loving that. Oh, Cinderella from Alex Stitches. That's cute. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. I'm assuming it's probably an Etsy. Um, Because, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this one before. It's super cute. What is this? I a skip day for yesterday. Totally forgot to stitch. It happens. Tomorrow's a, oh, tomorrow's a new day. I just literally watched a clip of the ending of Gone with the Wind. So that's kind of poetic for me to just say. After all, tomorrow is a new day. Um, started this during our last challenge. I haven't worked on it since until today. So it's an applique. It's a applique of some kind. Is this a bird? This is a bird. And then a sign of some kind. That's fun. Wait, there's stuff written here. Oh, yeah, I can see it. I don't know what that says. The bold way, maybe? Something like that? I love it. Very nice. Devil Tower National Monument in the Posey Collection. Very nice. That's a lot of progress made. Like that whole cloud. I'm assuming it's a cloud. That's that's very good. Um, Quaker Welcome by Lilla's Studios. Very nice. Like the whole roof is done. Yeah. Very nice. Fruits and Veggies by Felicia Williams. Today I started working on learning to stitch in hand. Ooh, good luck to you. I don't understand it. The fabric's too flimsy. I need support. That's going to be fun. That's going to be a fun, fun stitch, I think. Aw, cute little tree. It doesn't say who, who it is or anything, but that's a cute tree. And that's some nice progress right there for a day's worth. Oh, that's cute. A part of you, something, flowers. I like it. I like it like it. Oh, my gosh. That is beautiful. It doesn't say who it is or what it is. I'm assuming it's a heaven and earth. And this is either an owl or a fairy. Probably an owl because this kind of looks like a castle. So I'm thinking maybe Hogwarts. So that's very cool. <gasps> I love the sewing machine. Oh, I love it. I I love sewing the sewing machine. So it took me three days. Um. I mean, they were like three, you know, six, seven, eight hour days, but 
I started it on a Friday night and by Sunday mm -hmm. night it was done. Um, because I just enjoyed stitching on it so much. I just spent the whole weekend stitching on it and I loved it. Do I have it like around me somewhere? I don't, but I loved it. It was so much fun. So that's super, super cute. No stitching today. <laughs> oh, that's turning out so cute. Cross Stitching Needle by Daily Cross Stitch. Oh, look, you've got the entire heart done. All you got to do left is the, the string and the needle. Very cute. Very cute. Oh, look at the fun, fun baby sampler. Dude, you've got a lot done. I think last time we only had, like, the cow. So, like, I think a bunch of this stuff is all new. We might have had the pig last time. Oh no, bronchitis. Oh, that sucks. That sucks so bad. Brooks Books Animal Advent um, Block 17. Very cute. So I think it's a giraffe, right? A giraffe and then somebody's winning a prize. I like it. Oh, and this is finished. I miss the group of ladies you used to stitch with. I do too. That's when whoops found you. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> yes, I do too. I mean, we had to stop because of COVID. And so, yeah, it kind of sucks. But you finally finished or first finished in 20 years. I want to put a uh, backing on it to hide the stitching on the back. This is a gift. Now I have to get another project ready. Yay! That's so awesome. So um, I'll get back to this, but I wanted to let you all know that, especially for locals, we are we're moving buildings. So we're going to be moving into a temporary building until uh, September. And then we're going to move again into a permanent new building. Um, I, <laughs> no, it doesn't work on lives when you try to enlarge it. No, it doesn't. Um, so pick up the pickup option will still be available. It will change on the 17th, which is next Monday. Um, You'll be able to find the new address on our site, but um, if you want, I can post our new address. It's going to be out in North Logan by Lazy Ones. Um, and so, yeah, and there there will be pickup options still available there. And then, like I said, we'll move again in September to our new permanent location. And we'll have uh, pickup options there as well. Um, but... As of now, we have no, there's no option to uh, do our in-person sit and stitch as of yet. I mean, that may change. That may not. I don't know. So, I know. I miss the in-person ones, too. They were so fun. We had such a fun group of ladies. And they were just, they were just amazing, amazing stitchers. And there's a bunch of them that aren't even on Facebook. So, they don't even join us. Um, because, you know, there are several of them that were older and stuff. And so they don't even join us. So it bums me out. There were so many. Look how cute this cute little heart is. Which one is this? So it's one of the Hearts of America from Victoria Sampler. Um, worked on the Bluebird Rose one. So the Bluebird and the Rose. Oh, right here, Duh. this one right there. So um, if you do like Thea from Victoria Sampler, she actually announced her retirement last week, week before. Um, so yeah, she's going to be retiring here soon. I don't recall what month it is that she's retiring, but she did announce her retirement. So she's got some amazing, amazing pieces. Mini Dandelion um, from Ash Evans from Heaven and Earth. 
Wow. I mean, that's a good start. I don't know what it looks like. Post a picture of the pattern so we know what it's supposed to look like. So then we can figure out like where you are and stuff. Um, day 10, birthday start. Yay! By um, Kathy Barracks. Cute little leaf. I love the fabric. I love the polka dot fabric. Um, Heaven and Earth Design, little Tommy Tittlemouse. That's very cute. Oh, oh, look, right here, right here. All of that's filled in. Very nice. Very nice project. Um, StitchCon. Fun. Um, StitchCon finish. Yay! Um, uh, Our Hearts by With Thy Needle and Thread. Very cute. Your heart my heart, and very old friends. Oh, I love that. That's adorable. So cute. So cute. StitchCon is a retreat. I think it's back east somewhere, if I recall correctly. I don't, I don't recall. I think it is. I've never been. I'd love to, but I've never been. Um, See, she just blows me away. <gasps> a finish! Peppermint purple stitch along. Very nice. Some beautiful, beautiful black work. I'm thinking about getting a Mill Hill kit for the first time, but it is 28 count linen. That scares me. Any advice? Um, use Joe Belong if you can. Joe Belong or Lugana. So even weave is a little easier. Um, just remember that you're always counting over two threads. So just one, two. That's how I do it. I just tick them off. Two over, two up, or however you're going to do it. Um, I found, but again, I like tight tension. So I like tight tension, and I feel like, you know, it helps. It helps. Um, I mean, I guess all the regular, all the regular um, advice that I always give. Make sure you have good lighting. Make sure you're comfortable. You have good tension. Yeah. Um, if you've never done beads before, um, decide, you know, which way you want to do your beads. I have a blog on um, how to attach beads. I think it's in my tips and technique video. And I go over um, how, how to bead and everything in the video, what needles do you use, Tacky Bob, actually Tacky Bob's discontinued now, but the Tacky Mats are still available, so that is a huge, huge help, um, so, um, in, I guess this isn't the video I'm thinking of. There's another video. I don't think this is the video I'm thinking of either. There's a video that I talk about bead direction. Um, and, you know, whether you want, like, I like mine when they're on an angle, but you can secure it so it sits like this. So you just have to figure out which way you like it. There's a kind of a, there's a little bit of a, a learning curve and it's all about what you prefer, you know, which direction do you like your beads to lay? Um, I prefer just using regular floss, whatever the color of the bead is, or just regular white floss to do my beads. Um, so it's kind of just uh, figuring out what your style of beading is and how you like to do it. So yeah, it's still fun. Oh, that is a good, that's a good size to start to find out if you even like beading, you know, because you might not like it. I love it. I would say it is definitely one of my favorite parts of stitching is the beading. Like if a project doesn't have beads, I will probably add them because I love it so much. 
and or I'll love, I'll add treasures or I'll add, I'll add something because I just I love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, that's the tree. Oh, how cute is that gonna be? A cute little three ounce stocking. That's gonna be so cute. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be adorable. World Travel Bookshelf by Amy Stewart. Very nice. Dude, look at those colors. Mirabilia's are amazing with beads. I love them. I love them. I just, yeah. Love, love, love it. Look at all those colors. I love this. This kind of gives me anxiety. All that parking. Oh. <sighs> I just don't, I don't, I can't, I just don't get it, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm allowed to not get it. Janel's Harvest Sampler. Ooh, that's going to be a fun one. That's some good progress right there though. Hey, it's a finish. Yay. No, it, yes, it is. Hocus Pocus Halloween by Heart and Hand. Very cute. Very cute. Oh, dude, that's some nice progress. Look at all that. This is all done, and then all of this. Ooh, I like it. I like it, like it, like it. A bit of... Oh, wow. Oh, that's looking so good. So it's a type of gold work, and she's got all the beads and the pearls. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, look at the cute teacup. So this is a stamped embroidery or stamped cross stitch. Very cute. What is this? Reaping love cross stitch on 32 count linen pictures. This plus arbor. What does it say? Reaping Love, Silver Creek Sampler. I don't know what it says, but I like it. Yeah, Perkins not for me. I just, I can't. Like, the only way I could ever think of parking would be if I somehow added a charm onto the thread where I parked it, and that charm was associated with a color number. So then I knew, but I don't, I don't think I could do it. No, no, no. Oh, how cute is that? Look at the little Santa man in the Christmas house. So what do we have? We've got the Christmas here and plus part of the doy, doy. Part of the doy, part of the door. That's adorable. That's so cute. Do we think it's a cow or a sheep? Creamery by Cherry Hill Stitchery. It's a cow. It's a cow. Oh, how cute is that? Christina Hamrock Design Work Stitching Alphabet. Knitting. Mach sewing machine. Ah, very cute. Started the sewing machine outline. Have to pack for a trip. Very fun. Very fun. Oh, so cute. The henna medallion. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at that. I love the symmetry of it. You know me. I love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, what is this? Heaven and Earth Autumn Cat. I don't. Okay. I think I see a leaf. I don't know where the cat is, but I see a leaf. I need a picture of the pattern. <laughs> oh, how cute is this one? Moon phases, new moon, the little stitcher. How cute is this? That's adorable. Oh, that's a fun one. Oh my gosh, look at all of that progress. Dimensions Garden Gate. Oh, it was your birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. 
Wow, you are making such good progress. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. We've already seen this one. I think we're getting into yesterday's stuff. Oh, look at the cute little bunny. I think we can see the pattern right there. Oh, so cute. Cute little bunny. Double bridge in Venice. Oh, how beautiful is that going to be? That's going to be so pretty. Oh, I love it. Thankful Thursday. <laughs> Stitch piece autumn black work. Oh, that's so pretty. <gasps> Fabulous fabric. Oh, I love it. That's going to be like the perfect thing for just an all black cat. Oh, that's going to be amazing. I'd love it, love it, love it. The Spring Queen. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's going to be amazing. The queens are huge. The Mirabilia queens, they are huge. They're so big, which I love. I love how big they are. Finished! Yay! That's awesome. You got both sides finished and assembled. <gasps> Yay! And so now you have all six completed. That's amazing. That's amazing. I love that. That is so great. Oh my gosh. <gasps> How cool is that? So let's go back. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't, oh my gosh. That's, that's crazy. I don't know if I could do it. I mean, I probably could, but I don't know. I'm not in a parking either, unless it's my car. <laughs> it's a true story. That's a true story. I mean, there's nothing different from this than a big, huge piece, you know? I mean, there's no difference, but oh my gosh, that's adorable. UK and Erie Countries by Pe Peppermint Purple. That's cool. So each different place. How fun is that? Oh my gosh. That face does not look like she is joyful. Or is it just me? Oh, that's beautiful. Look at those. Look how rich, how rich those colors are. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I love the difference between the, uh, the picture of the pattern and the actual pattern because it makes a huge difference. Better late than ever. Just finished dinner. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. More gold work. I think we're... Oh, we'll do this one and then we'll be done. The face I decided to do one over one. I think it's going to look gorgeous. I think it'll look gorgeous too. What is it? Is it a snake? It doesn't say what it is. I think it's going to look amazing. I mean, I'm always an advocate for one over one. As I do one over one. <gasps> You're on to the face of the little boy that is the sepia with the, with the roses. Fabulous. Farm Life by Little House Needleworks. Very cute. I think I recall this. And then now we're down to here. Very cute. Okay. So that's it for tonight. Like I said, if you're a local, um, a local person, we will still be doing, um, we'll still be doing a pick up orders. They're just going to be at a different place. I will post the new address. There, I just posted the new address. 
Um, and that will uh, take place on the 17th, which I think is Monday. No, it's next week. I need to flip my calendar. Next 17th is next Thursday. So next week. Yeah, that's where we will be, at least for the next couple months. And then we'll be in a new, new place. I don't think I have that address yet. So, okay, well, um, keep stitching, everyone. Even if you're not going to meet the merit challenge, please keep stitching because that's the most important thing. And I hope everybody has an amazing, amazing weekend. And I will see you all next week. Happy stitching, everyone. Bye.